Welcome to Academia de Cento, Academy of 100 Chefs. I'm Lorraine Rinaldi. You're in the kitchen, the research and development kitchen, the test kitchen. Today our chef is Michael Giletto, and he is a Culinary FX, yep. which is a food styling business. And catering. And catering. Yep. And you also are a chef at a very renowned country club up yes. in New York. The country club sits right outside the Holland Tunnel. Nice. And um, we cook for some very influential people out of New York mm -hmm. uh, and tri-state area mm -hmm. uh, and overseas as well. well today, we're going to make a very interesting Sicilian pork milanese. So what we're going to start with is basically the pork tenderloin. Nice. Now, you can use a pork loin. Mm -hmm. um, I like to use pork tenderloin because it's, it's still already lean. It's leaner in fat. Um, basically, what you want to do is take those flat, the fat in there, mm -hmm. and we call those flavor missiles. And you want to treat them... Flavor missiles. Flavor missiles, missiles. yes. Because like what you that. do is when you start cooking the protein, it releases. And once the, those flax of fat start mm -hmm. releasing, it adds great flavor to your dish. Okay. So now, what I want to do is basically just separate these a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take our saran wrap. All right. And I wanna put it over the pork. Now, okay. the reason why we're doing this is because we don't wanna damage the fibers in the protein. Oh, okay. We don't wanna rip it. Just lightly pound it out. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna season it, mm -hmm. okay? A little salt. A little sea salt there? A little sea salt. Okay. A little black pepper. We're gonna do a traditional breading Italian station. Okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and take our pork cutlet, okay? A Shake flour. off the extra, okay? Right into the egg. Now you want to keep one hand dry. Okay. And I'm sure you know that. Right? I understand. Okay. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of towels in the kitchen when I'm cooking. Right. So you keep one hand dirty and one hand dry. All and right. You just you do this three times. All right, Lorraine, if you can turn the frying pan on for me now that we have our pork breaded. How high do you Put want that this? On like a medium heat. On for a me. medium heat. Now we're going to take our olive oil and we're just going to introduce that into our frying pan. We're gonna go ahead and pick that up. Gotta step back so I don't get splashed. Yep. And now, we're gonna take a few of our capers. You're gonna do that at the same time. We're gonna do it at the same time. And you can hear them starting to pop, right? You hear it? Yeah, beautiful. Okay, we're gonna fry them a little bit. Now, at this stage of the game, we're gonna take our frying pan, and we're gonna just rotate it over here. Now, the residual heat from the oil will continue cooking the pork as well as frying my capers. If you want, we can just adjust that to a medium heat, a little bit more towards me. There you go, perfect. And we're gonna do a teaspoon. I want you to pull five nice Sicilian olives in there. We're gonna now take our garlic, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna do a nice heaping forkful. We're gonna go ahead and add a cup of artichokes, half a cup of beans. Some dried tomatoes. Stick a one, two, three, Four, five. Peppers. Love them. Yep. Little crushed red pepper. I like a lot, but I'm just gonna put a little bit because you never know what your guests like. And our tomatoes. We're just gonna go ahead and fork crush these. Sure. And now we're gonna add a little bit of chicken stock. Oh, look at that. And we're gonna crank it up a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Add our butter in now and let's let that melt. We're gonna give us another minute. And then we're gonna go ahead and start plating. Beautiful. Enjoy. All right. Thank you. We can find Michael Giletto <laughs> at culinaryfx.org, culinaryfx.org. Yep. You can find Academia de Cento at cento.com and uh, join us as we always have a featured chef, a featured recipe, so much you can do at home. These guys make it look simple, but you know what? I'm learning a lot here. It isn't <laughs> that difficult. And all the ingredients you need are right here at cento.com. Ciao. Mm. Ciao. I did. Yeah. I jumped right in. <laughs>